is it dangerous to let your animals run free without a leash? Welcome to this video everybody. Today actually is a really special day for me because it is the first day of July 2020 and this is the day where I am out of my normal job so when I'm self-employed for exactly one year and I'm really really happy about that and I've reached my main goal which was to survive and you can see I'm here so I'm super happy and I actually have planned I have had planned to celebrate that in some way but uh, actually I don't feel that good today I have a little bit of a sore throat and I've not been sleeping well for the last couple of nights so I don't really feel like <laughs> dancing on a meadow or stuff like that but when I was visiting my cows just now <laughs> I really was thinking a lot about this topic again and I felt like sitting down and talking a little bit with you because this question is one of the questions that I've already got so so many times and I also often meet people who are telling me that they are not able to remove the leash of their animals because it is too dangerous so I thought it might be cool to share my perspective with you a little bit <laughs> and um, yes uh, at first I would definitely say that of course, a leash is a really, really great tool to prevent really dangerous things from happening sometimes. Um, and what I'm talking about today is not... And what I would like to say today is not just... Uh, oh, it's dark. It's good. Now it's raining. <laughs> I've put one of my dirty socks now on the camera because it's not raining really much and I feel like it's going to stop really soon <laughs> but I don't want the camera to get wet so now you know you're having a dirty sock on your head <laughs> so uh, where I don't know where I've ended mm. uh, yes I know it again so I really wanted to say that uh, my intention with this video is not to tell you that you should just remove the leash from an animal and everything is going to get be great and stuff like that. That's not my point. I just want to be really clear about that as a very beginning. But what I really want to do is to question um, this topic. Uh, if it is normal to force others to be with you with a leash. Because what I see today is that it is really normal to use leashes on animals and um, I would like to question that and that is why I would like to make this video because I see that there's so much struggle with these questions and there are so many people who feel insecure about that and I do that as well sometimes mm, but I wanted to share my perspective with you so sometimes they really do happen terrible 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 things because animals are not on a leash and a leash sometimes could prevent that from happening and uh, that definitely is something that is really important because the leash is a great tool but also there are ma many 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 terrible terrible things happening while an animal is on a leash or sometimes even because an animal is on a leash and to give you a little example um, for example with my cows especially with big animals often people are unsure if it's okay to to remove the leash and if it's not too dangerous and 
because they are just so huge. And of course, uh, a huge cow, if she would run on the street, for example, and there would a car crash into her, that would be a terrible accident. Of course, that is absolutely true. But also, if you do have a cow on a leash, and for example, the cow is getting shocked by something, and cows are not animals who are really easily going into running away or into flight, but it can definitely happen that they are getting shocked, shocked and they, for example, they are making a big jump and they are just like that. And if you are having the cow on the leash, she's forced to be really, really close to you. And what can happen is that this cow is making a jump out of a shock moment. And in this moment, the cow is not always able to really be aware about where you are. So it can definitely happen that this cow is going to jump onto you. And if this cow is jumping onto you, it can definitely happen that you're going to fall on the ground and you are having a challenge just to stay alive. So you are definitely not in the position to stop this cow from doing stupid stuff anymore. And the cow is without the leash as well at the end, but not with a clear intention and not in a, in a safe kind of constellation, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and if you would not have had the cow on the leash and you would have a great relationship with this cow, it would happen, the cow's getting shocked and she would probably make a jump and then she would take the time and look what you are doing and if she would see that you are completely calm and everything is well and she is really trusting you, nothing else would happen. She would trust you, she would follow you and everything would be all right. <laughs> um, so. This is just one example from one millions where a leash can even be the problem <laughs> because an animal is, for example, forced to be too close to you or because an animal is getting into fighting mode because it does not want to be bonded <laughs> so close to someone or it does not want to do what you want to do, it does not want to take exactly that, that way, it would like to go a little bit further and and these little small details can make a lot of problems. <laughs> I know that from my own experience. <laughs> um, so I, I would really like to say that a leash is a great tool. So it's not the main problem, but it also is not the solution. You know, um, they can happen everything with a leash, especially with these big animals. If you have a tiny, tiny dog, for example, it probably is true that you are having full control onto this dog if it is on a leash. But if you are having a cow and she weighs, weighs like 500 kilograms or even more, you don't have the control about this animal. <laughs> There's a little bug on my camera. Probably it's going, it's going to walk on the screen soon. <laughs> so mm, you are not in control of an animal that is uh, like ten t weights like ten times more than you just because you're having a little leash in your hand That's not true. It just feels like that for us sometimes, but it's not true. Hi <laughs> and um, I really want To uh, want people to get aware about that uh, On the one hand that we are not in full control of an animal just because we are using a leash and on the other hand to question if it even is our right to be in full control of an animal. If that is the right thing, if that is what we truly want. And I really think that this topic of control is a really um, interesting one because we are really easily getting the feeling of being in control, but we are much e even much more easily getting into the feeling of completely losing our control. And um, actually, I guess none of it is true. We are kind of always in control but we never are <laughs> and um, <sighs> the problem often is that we are living in a human world world and animals are not always able to understand how this world is working so they're doing really stupid stuff and we often feel like we are responsible for preventing that from happening. So it is really difficult to really communicate that. And um, but the point is, I guess that if we are, if we, the point is, I guess that if we manage to really communicate with our animals and to set clear boundaries, but also to let them free in every part that we are able to let them free. And if there's a true trust and understanding between us, then most animals 
would never ever run away from us because they know themselves that this this world is dangerous and they are scared themselves they would not run away if they they are really feeling comfortable and safe with you so that really is a point where i would like to start and to cre to question um, how we can do that better how we can offer the animal a place and a feeling of safety and comfort so that it does not have any intention in running away from us so actually i would say it is not the problem and it is not dangerous to re remove the leash of your animal but it is really really dangerous to have an unhealed relationship with your animal where the animal is feeling pain and where you are feeling insecure with your animal where there is a lack of trust and understanding that is extremely dangerous and that is causing a lot of harm in this world and I really hope that we will be able to fix that and to find out how to communicate better with our animals and how to really allow, allow them to be free and to be themselves even in this human world world and that is my wish that we really ask these questions and that we really start to look deeper I've had so many great words in my mind before I start to record this video And, and the problem that I often see with people is that they feel so insecure about this topic and that they're so scared to remove the leash that they never really try it or they just try it in an environment where they feel completely safe. And the problem with that is that if you're never getting yourself and your animal into the situation that you really have to deal with these problems, you will also never learn it. You will never learn how to communicate with your animal good enough so that it will understand your boundaries. And the animal will never learn what you are actually accept, expecting from it to do because it, it never really is getting shown that. And that is a big problem. I have had problems with that as well because I, I was too scared to, to trust my animals and the result was that I was not trusting them and they have not been trusting me and we have been in a constant struggle to find out how to, how to be together and how to not get into one drama after another. <laughs> And it wasn't easy always, especially for example with my oldest cow. She has been really, really easily scared back in the times. And she has been running away several times when I've had her on a leash. But she was way too strong, so if she really got uh, uh, scared, I could not haul her back. So there have been re many really, really bad experiences. And I've been oh, so in panic sometimes because I was so scared that something could happen. And, it was really a hard time, but um, then when she was like three years old, I have decided one day to to trust her and to remove the leash. It is a long story with that. I will tell you that one other day if you are interested. But when I decided to remove the leash and to trust her, she started to trust in me. And she started to trust into herself. And because she started to trust into herself, she wasn't that easily scared anymore. So stuff that was super, super scary for her before, hasn't been that scary for her anymore. And since I wasn't forcing her to do stuff that felt too scary for her, she started to trust me because I wasn't that uncomfortable for her anymore. And that is such an amazing journey and I've already have experienced that for several times that if we start to trust our animals this trust is going to come back and it's going to get easier and we learn to to deal with each other or also with with dogs for example i often see people who are never re releasing their dogs from the leash because maybe they're going run away going hunting or or whatever and my dog has been going hunting as well back in the times and it has been really 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 difficult for me to deal with that but one thing that i've never stopped was to let her free and if something happened it was it was a challenge to deal with that but we've started to really learn uh, to communicate about it and it wasn't really i will have to talk about that in a, in another video as well but um 
she started to understand what I really mean and she started to stop it. And today I can say like 99% that I can fully trust into her no matter where we are. We can be in a city, we can be in a village, we can be in the forest. She's not going to run away from me. It took us like nine years because she's now nine years old, but we've reached that point. And I know many, many people who never ever reached this point with, her do with their dogs. And for my feeling, you're, you're just, your relationship is, you're, you're missing out of such an amazing part of your relationship because as long as you're constantly in a state of fear of your animal and you're not able to trust it fully, there's, there's so much deep or depth that you're not even discovering in your relationship. This fully trust this a, this opportunity to let, to let go and to it's just so amazing I can't really describe it in words and I'm so sad that so many animals and humans are are not able to experiment that Exper experiment experience that well, <laughs> you know this video is the first one where I have not wrote a whole script for it I, I've just been thinking about that stuff when I felt like sitting down and talking but I feel a little bit like I'm just talking bullshit, but that's normal for me. And really often when I'm talking English, I feel like I'm just like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, and it's still a little bit complicated for me, but I, I, it's getting better. So I really hope that you understand a little bit of what I want to say and that you are able to enjoy my perspective book. And that you enjoy my perspective book. And that you enjoy my perspective about that. And if you would like to, you're absolutely welcome to, to share your perspective about these topics in the comments. And I would be super, super happy to read it. And also, I really hope to see you soon again. And now I think I'm going to get home because I'm getting a wet ass sitting here in the meadow. And I hope to see you soon again. See you soon again. Bye bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow.